I've done it. I've created a shield in Minecraft. Are you ready to fight, gentlemen? Are you ready? I'll take that as a yes. Charge! Whoa, shield! Oh, point blank creeper range survived. We can do this. Whoa. Whoa, shield, 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 shield from the damage. There's too many. There's too many. It's broken. No! I've done it. I have made a shield in Minecraft. The bulwark shield I have here. Very simply, it gives you plus five knockback resistance, plus two attack damage, because come on, slamming someone with a shield's gotta hurt. Negative 50% speed, so it'll give you half the speed you normally have because it's a big heavy metal shield. Jump boost 128, which will keep you from jumping around like a kangaroo, because again, it's a big, heavy, bulky shield. But it'll give you resistance three as well. So, this thing is insane. And, and also, this shield also has a durability. Okay, it will break. It will turn into this broken shield after a while. There's a random chance when you take damage that it will break. And there's a whole system determining how and when it'll break that took me forever to come up with, but is really cool. Now, before I start going into the explanation though, it should be noted that this one, this shield I have that I originally came up with about a year ago, but the new one is not possible, but this one has been possible for a while now, is actually better for maps and stuff where you don't want tons of lag and redstone clocks for like 20 plus players all using this thing. Because for each one of these shields that you want for each player, you need five redstone block clocks. So just two, you already have 10 right there. This already lags out my single player world. As you can see, I selected, I'm not getting the effects until like a delayed period of time. So using more than two of these, not recommended. Try using this, which just gives plus five, plus 10 health or five hearts. Um, it doesn't trigger all the command. You shouldn't need any of these command blocks. You can just simply clear it at a random time if you want to break it. It's pretty simple, but this is so much cooler and has so many more uses. So to get on with it, a very simple and easy way to identify what command blocks are doing what, the green ones are simply determining if you're holding the shield and gives the effects. Any of the ones uh, that are showed with yellow are determining if your shield should be broke. They're kind of the randomization system saying, hey, should we break this shield? And the, which they also trigger the red ones, which actually break the shield, such as clearing it and giving you the new one. So jumping into it, and I promise you how it breaks the shield is really interesting, but kind of technical. So stay tuned to that. The first thing, as I said, which detects if you're holding the shield and gives the effects, it's pretty much this system just copied and pasted eight times. So you see this one, these first command blocks are detecting if you're holding it. So in slot zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we're holding it, say in slot one, it will do a number of things. First, it will trigger this, which will simply set a command block here, and another one will set a command block here, and they both give the effects. The other one plays an iron golem walk sound, uh, which every time you hold it so it actually feels like you're pulling out something heavy now I've clipped the sound on this video so you can hear that but it's there in game if you want to use this as a world download or something and It also triggers this redstone uh, Torch so when you're holding it, it's off then when you unselect it It turns it back on powering all these again So once you've selected it and unselected it it will then a clear the effects from you and B, it will set these two command blocks that are giving you the effects to air, so it can't keep giving them to you. And that's the system. Um, how it breaks, though, is so much more cool. So, ignoring that yellow one for a sec, because that simply disables it after it's been broken. Uh, it will disable the broken shield thing, because a shield can't break twice, right? But ignoring that, we have this system. There's pretty much five of these and one, one of them is a special one. We'll get into this though. So, how this determines if it should break. Each one of these is dealing with a section of your health. So I have divided it into one, two, three, four sections, and the fifth one is if you have max health. That is the special short one. So, what I've done is it will only have a random chance, it will only give you the chance for it to break if you take damage. So if you heal, it won't. It won't trigger anything. But
but if you take damage, it will. And that is what took me a long time to figure out the logistics for with scoreboards. So say you're at 15 to 19 health, and keep in mind every health is half a heart. So say you're, all, you're between like half a heart away from full and 15 health, um, then it will simply trigger this command block, which will um, test if your score of break is 1, meaning your health was full before. Because this one, if your health is full, it sets your score of break to 1. So then this one, suddenly you lose half a heart or say. It then tests if you have a score of break of 1 before, which means you must have taken damage to get there. Then it's A-OK. -okay. It, it sets your score to 2 and triggers the chance of it to break. But say your, your health was between 10 and 14, so half health to 7 hearts. And then you healed up and you got from like 15 to 19 health, which is almost full. Well, your score was 3 before. Well, now suddenly your score, it tests to see if your score is 1. It's not, so it won't trigger this, which means you must have healed to get there. So, nope, doesn't trigger. It only triggers if you take damage to get there, which required a lot of thinking on my part and logistics. It will then, actually the randomizers on each of these ones, it will trigger this dispenser, say, which will has a 1 in 9 chance uh, to deposit this one, which sets a redstone block there, which will trigger this one, which has, I, this one only has one command block in here too, which means it's a 1 in 81% chance that this one will get triggered, which sets your score of broken to 1. If your score of broken is to 1, it triggers all the red command blocks, which, as you know, clear the the good shield and give you the broken one. These ones just simply reset the blocks. So, if you followed me on that, that's incredible, you're really smart. If not, try re -watching it. Anyways, if it determines that you have uh, broken the shield, if that one determines your shield should break, it comes over here and this basically breaks your shield. So if your score of broken is 1, then it will clear any record disks of stall, which is the item I'm using for the shield, it will then give you a new record disc. It will give you, uh, I believe this is 11, which is like a broken strad, so it looks cool. And gives you this broken shield that has like black like writing, as you can see. Um, it will then give you a tell raw command, which saying, oh no, your shield's broken. If you see, oh no, it seems your bulwark shield is broken. And uh, it will then just reset these comparators of command blocks. And that is it. That is it. That is the whole system. If you understood that and you got it, that's awesome. But I see so much potential in new PvP with this. It's insane. I mean, the problems that we're having in 1.8 that they're trying to fix with a new, like, uh, damage system and new weapons and stuff, a lot of that could be fixed with a new item of a shield or something. And I think this adds a lot to PvP that it didn't before. A strategy of when you should block because, say, getting hit by a skeleton or a zombie does two and a half hearts. Now it does half a heart. And you're not knocked back if you're a full blast creeper, you know, full creeper blast in the face doesn't do as much damage. It doesn't kill you. So... This is awesome. I mean, I tried doing it with redstone before. It didn't work out, as you can see. Uh, so I did it with command blocks. It's less laggy. It works better. Anyways, that's the system I used. This is so cool. I hope you enjoy this. It would really help me out if you do all the obvious things to share this video around, because it took me forever to make. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.